Hey guys, Seven WWE Rocks here, and no in no interesting wrestling news uh, today. So I decided to make a video talking about superhero movies and getting ready for 2017 and all the great superhero movies that are coming out. Uh, I know I have like a few you know uh, superhero subscribers that really like that stuff, and I talk a lot about it on Twitter, and so that's really fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, let me know your thoughts all in the comment section of all the movies I list. I got seven movies on the list. I didn't put stuff like uh, Transformers or Power Rangers. I know some people consider that superhero stuff. Personally, the nerd inside me, I just can't. I know people are going to be like, Power Rangers, they have, you know, awesome suits. Or they have, like, you know, matching suits or whatever and, and powers. I don't know. I'm not a huge Power Ranger fan. But um, what makes them different from the Justice League? No. I'm taking those guys off the list. It's got to be, like, you know, superhero stuff. So... Um, I know that a lot of people are probably already mad about that, but uh, 2016 I thought was a really, really good year for superheroes. Uh, Marvel I thought did amazing. Deadpool was freaking brilliant. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse I didn't like, you know, I really did not like that one at all. It had a few moments, but oh, I didn't like that. I was very disappointed with the ending of that, like, you know, uh, that trilogy. Um, Captain America Civil War, just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Uh, I walked in a comic store a few days ago and the guy had it on TV and me and like every other customer in there just stared and watched it. It was the airport scene. That's why. Um, it just, oh, brilliant. And uh, Doctor Strange, I liked, but I, I thought it fell apart at the end. I thought it was going to be a lot better, but um, I still thought it was really good and I, I really liked uh, Benedict as um, Doctor Strange. Uh, DC, Batman vs Superman, I absolutely hated. And Suicide Squad, which I absolutely hated. Hated both of them. It has nothing to do with like Marvel versus DC or me being biased. I love Marvel a lot more, but DC, I was really, really hyped about this. If you've been on my channel for a while, last year, I said like so many different times, Suicide Squad is going to be the best uh, superhero movie we have this year, and I wouldn't even put it in the top five. Um, so, uh, but it was a good year, I thought, and a lot of people do like Suicide Squad and Batman vs Superman, that's awesome, I'm glad if you like it, uh, I just hated those, but people that say Jared Leto was a better Joker than Heath Ledger just really makes me want to blow my brains out, I just can't take that, I really can't, but let's get right into it, seven movies on the list, um, I wouldn't put this on here, but I know a lot of people will, so I'll just say, the Lego Batman movie is coming out February 10th, I'm gonna go in chronological order from when they're gonna be released, uh, I watched the Lego movie, I watched 15 minutes of it, and I just couldn't do it. And I'm into, like, all those, like, kid movie stuff or whatever. Like, I enjoy those, actually. I know that's weird, but I do. I heard so many good things about the Lego movie. I put it on, 15 minutes of it, could not take it. Just the singing, the animation, it annoyed me so much. I just, I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. But I've seen the trailers for the Lego Batman movie, and it looks really, really good. Like, it looks really funny, so I'm actually really looking forward to it. Uh, March 3rd, we got Logan. So Hugh Jackman, for the final time, is going to be becoming Wolverine, an R-rated Wolverine, which has me really, really happy. Uh, there was rumors uh, these past few days that Ryan Reynolds would be in it as well as Deadpool. He, they said he like filmed a scene for it or something. But Ryan Reynolds himself on Twitter has said that's not the case. That's not happening. He is not in it. Which had me relieved. Be Don't get me wrong. I would love to see Deadpool and Wolverine in the same movie. Um, I, I've always wanted that. But with the first trailer of Logan and the tone of it, it just, it feel like it wouldn't make sense at all. And I'm, I'm, since this is last time, I think it should just be solely, you know, him, uh, doing the adventure. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. The darker tone and everything, the Johnny Cash music in the background of the trailer looks really, really good. I can't wait for it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is May 5th. Oh, I cannot wait. I freaking love Guardians of the Galaxy 1. It was so freaking good. It exceeded expectations because I didn't really know about these characters and I didn't really care I guess once before the movie came out once the movie came out I was like wow these are awesome characters Chris Pratt looks great in it baby Groot looks just phenomenal that looks amazing Rocket Raccoon I love Batista looks hilarious in the teaser trailers we've gotten so I'm really really looking forward to it and the music they have oh it's always amazing uh, I remember the first one the soundtrack was so good June 2nd Wonder Woman I'm gonna be honest I could literally care less I know a lot of people are really hyped for this, and I'm not being sexist at all. Good for women, good for Gal Gadot, or however you pronounce it, um, and uh, Chris Pine's in it, he's cool, but I could care less. In Batman vs Superman, man, I like that scene, you know, where she finally has the outfit on and the music, I was like, this is so stupid. 
And that has nothing to me being, like, sexist or whatever. I can totally believe a woman beating up Candice LeRae. She's my favorite. Um, but, I mean, I just, I don't know. And I feel like for it to be, like, for me to like it, I'm probably already going into it hating it, which, you know, as a movie viewer, you probably shouldn't do that, and that's a bad part on my case. But I feel like for it to be, like, good for me, it has to, like, really, really ex exceed expectations. The fighting needs to be amazing. It needs to be blow me away. Uh, but I just don't, I'm not, I don't care about this character. I just have little interest on Wonder Woman. Um, maybe you guys can tell me in the comment section what you think is so great about her and, you know, let me, you know, change my mind. Definitely. I, I would love to see you guys uh, try and do that. No, that wasn't, I wasn't trying to sound, sound rude there, but I just could care less about this and uh, whatever gets to the Justice League faster, I guess. But July 7th, Spider-Man Homecoming. I cannot wait. That first trailer they released, Looks so freaking good. I think I actually made a video about it. Yeah, I made a video about it. And uh, Vulture looks amazing. Uh, the guy playing Spider-Man looks great. Iron Man, that's cool. I just hope he isn't in it uh, too much. I still want this to be like Spider-Man's movie. Very, very excited for it. I'm so glad they're not doing the stupid, like, how he gets his powers. We know Spider-Man's backstory. Like, literally everyone on Earth knows that. Just have him, you know, be Spider-Man as the movie begins. So I'm very, I'm looking really, really excited for it. The third Thor comes out November 3rd. I would say Thor whatever, but I've heard people say it 50 different ways. It starts with an R. I'm not going to try because I'm going to butcher it somehow. But Hulk's supposed to be in it, so that should be really cool. He has, like, armor and stuff and, like, a freaking wielding axe, so that should be cool. Um, the first Thor I really liked, and then I remember not liking the second one, like, at all. And then I, I have high hopes for the third one. It's kind of depressing that he, uh, Thor wasn't in Civil War, so we've kind of not forgotten about him, but it seems like he's kind of an afterthought, him and Hulk. And I love both those characters. And I really hope this is, like, really good, because it's supposed to lead into uh, uh, the Avengers, the third Avengers. So, fingers crossed on this one. Um, but I don't, like, have high hopes. If it sucks, I'm not going to be, like, too disappointed. And last but not least, November, November 17th, we have the Justice League. So, finally, DC is launching their, you know, Avengers... Um, I know a lot of people are going to be mad about me saying that, but yeah, pretty much putting together their Avengers. Eh, I don't really, after Batman vs. Superman Suicide Squad, I'm, I'm a little angry at DC at the moment. I, I feel like they should be doing a lot better, and they haven't, but I'm hoping the movie's really good, because then, you know, we get Flash after it, we get Batman solo film, um, Aquaman solo film, so I'm really hoping it's good, but, uh, again, don't really have high hopes for this, but... I am really, really looking forward to Batman, the Batman solo film. I could care less about everything. Um, but let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below of what mo movies you're most excited for, the superhero movies and whatnot, or regular movies. Just let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7 Rocks. Sorry, kind of a longer video, uh, but I really, really like talking about superheroes, as you can tell. So let me know what you're looking forward to most in 2017 with these movies. And, uh, I don't know what I was going to do. I just put my thumbs up. Um, I was about to sneeze, so I think that's why. Uh, just thank you so much for watching. As always, have a great day.